Active Campaign Google Sheets. In this video, we're going to cover how to integrate Active Campaign with Google Sheets without using Zapier. This integration is now native to Active Campaign. It's pretty darn simple. You need to create a Google Sheet. I'm going to recommend that you have a header so it's easy to match up fields from Active Campaign to Google. And then we're going to run an automation that connects to Google Sheets and passes information. So let's dive right in. So to start with, you want to create a Google Sheet on, in Google Drive, if you will, and um, set it up. Nothing fancy, just create, in my opinion, the header that you want. So I'm going to create here, let's say, first name. And I'm just going to make it a little pretty. I'm just going to bold that, make it centered. And then I'm going to view, I think I'm going to freeze that first row. That's kind of nice so that if you have a lot of things, you can keep scrolling. So that's taken care of. Next thing you want to do is we're going to create an automation. I've already started on this. I've called it Google Sheets, not surprisingly. I want to edit that. However somebody gets into your automations, great. So here we want to click on the plus sign. You want to go down to CX Apps. Add a row in Google Sheets is pretty much your only choice. And I've already connected my uh, Google Drive or Google Sheets account to Active Campaign. It prompts you to make the connection. So I've already done that. So I'm going to select this. I want to select the spreadsheet. This is the one I want to use. And select the sheet. I didn't rename it. It's going to be the default. And then it gives me some mapping things I can do. So for instance, email. And I'm going to select the field I want to put it to. And you know what? This does not look like it's updated so I need and actually it may not update so I just need to go in here email is column C and first name is column A and I'm going to add another field last name is column B and I've got this one called timestamp now um, you could do this using Google Sheets, create a formula or a function to do that, but actually instead, I'm gonna use my automation to do that, but I'll come back to that in just a minute. So I'm gonna finish that, and that's it. That's all you really have to do. Now, I wanna get a timestamp into that field, so watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna to go to Lists, and for instance, I wanna know when somebody unsubscribes. So let's create a field called, I'm gonna go ahead and add a field, uh, unsubscribe date and I'm gonna just leave it there but it definitely wants to be a date field I'm gonna go ahead and click on add so now I'm gonna go back to this automation actually I need to back out once unfortunately it doesn't I don't think I can refresh so back into here and I'm gonna add a row and let's get to the end we've already done that already done that already have done that so let's add a field. So this is going to be the unsubscribe date. Okay, and this needs to be column D. So there we go. So instead of this just being a generic Google Sheets, let's just say Google Sheets unsubscribe. Save that. We want to trigger based on an unsubscribe. There we go. Click on continue. I'm going to say any list. I want to run it once. You could run it multiple times if you have multiple lists. And in that case, you might want to also figure out how to identify the list. And then I'm going to update that custom field. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to update a contact. And let's do the unsubscribe date. And we want to do current time. Click on save. So what we've done here is whenever someone unsubscribes, we update their unsubscribe date custom field to the current time. We added a row in Google Sheets. And you know what, just to be super safe, I'm gonna put a five minute delay in here. Not that I don't trust that it's gonna happen, but I know if I do this, that custom field will be up to date. So let's go ahead and test this out. And I'm not gonna unsubscribe, I'm simply gonna put myself or somebody some lucky person into this automation. And you know what, I am gonna put one version of myself in there. So let's go ahead and put this guy. So there we 
go. So remember, there's going to be a five minute delay. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to skip over it. But let's take a look at this. So um, let's start by looking for, I want to see that this is updated. So I'm going to go ahead and just refresh the screen. Look for the unsubscribe date to be the current date. So there it is. I'm going to just drop into here. I can get in there a couple ways. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go to view. I'm at a, I should be at the five minute wait right now. So I'm going to manually skip this. And if I go here, there I am. First, last email and a timestamp. So that's how you integrate ActiveCampaign with Google Sheets.